What's up, guys, and welcome back to Impact Defense Podcast, episode 106. We're getting up there. We are getting up there. I don't know. Our setup today feels a little weird because you feel so far away. <laughs> but the only people that know that are the people that's watching it. So anyway, all right, episode 106. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about home alarms and yeah, setting up our, our homes uh, and our alarms. We kind of get back to home defense and that kind of By stuff. By home alarms, are we talking about you know a system that whenever an intruder enters your home, it turns all the lights red and yells "intruder alert"? There are things like that that you can do. There's some very interesting things that I have seen. I just so. want to hear one go something like some cool line like uh, prepare for eviction in T minus, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, home alarms have come a long way. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it is. There's, there's I so feel like much. It, I feel do. like a lot of them could stand to go from functional to terrifying, you know. Yeah. Well, there there are some. And it, also, it depends on what you want to do as far as setting up for your uh with your smart home and stuff like that. Well, Brian, you seem to be able to stay on topic way more than we are today. Does that have anything to do with Magic Mind? How yeah. is that going? Yeah, so I've been taking Magic Mind now for a little bit. And uh, I will honestly say it is, it's helped me out a lot. I mean, just uh, clarity of thought and stuff like that. Yes, I was even on a podcast last night. Uh, there was a guy that had us, or had me on his podcast last night as a guest. And he even spoke about how, you know, clear and concise and everything that I was speaking and all. I will say that, like, because I was up really late because I had to be on that guy's podcast and then up really early this morning, even with that, I still feel a lot more clear than I used to be. Uh, usually, if I would have a like, little sleep like this, I would be relying on energy drinks and a ton of coffee just to be able to speak moderately like a normal person. So, but I, I do feel like my thoughts are a lot clearer since taking it. And now I just drink coffee for the fun of it. Yeah, I really do. It's just a little green shot of stuff that I drink in the morning. It's like, I think it's like two ounces. And I down it. It's got like uh, matcha and it's got like uh, ashwagandha. We talked about that last time. I was like, I'm horrible pronouncing these things. And uh, several other things like that that's just really good for you. I was skeptical. I'm not going to lie. I it, was skeptical. How does it taste? Um, oh, it's got honey in it to kind of help the taste too. <laughs> yeah, we're talking to Kylie, who is afraid to taste anything that doesn't taste like ketchup. You know, we're not going to talk about my ketchup obsession here. Okay. Yeah, it does help me to just speak clearly, to think clearly. Uh, my thought, my thoughts feel a lot more organized. I, I'm, I'm a fan. That's new. <laughs> trust me i live with them that's new so yeah if you're anything like me have some add and some problems thinking things through and organizing your thoughts i totally recommend it uh just go over to magicmind.co slash defense and uh you can join a community of go-getters as they call themselves uh you can also uh, use our discount code defense 20 and that will actually get you 40 percent off your first subscription or 20 percent off any one-time purchase i am a big fan. Uh, you do have like that 40% off only lasts for the next 10 days though. So you probably want to hurry up and do that one. So that's been my experience with uh, magic mind so far. So awesome. Yep. Now on to the new story. Yes. All right. This new story is entitled an inside job gone wrong. Um, so basically, uh, this guy says my house had been robbed twice while I was at work. One day I had to call out sick while I was sleeping and I heard something downstairs. I called out who's there because when we're sick, our supervisors come to see if we're actually home. Oh, well, yeah. Um, red flag right there. <laughs> I heard someone downstairs and I called out who's there. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I already said that. Do you need magic mind? I mean, obviously. <laughs> I was worried because the supervisors always knock first, and I was sure I didn't hear any knock or the doorbell. I heard footsteps and running. Up, I heard footsteps running up the stairs, and I called out that I was armed. My super de supervisor definitely would have stopped, 
But the footsteps got louder, and I got behind the door. Two men charged into my room with guns. I moved my arm, and they turned around. I shot one of them, and he shot the wall behind me, and the other ran down the stairs. So obviously they didn't take him too seriously when he said he was armed. Apparently not. Um, it turns out he shot his coworker's cousin, who knew his schedule and when he wasn't going to be home. But you know he had called out sick that day. Mm. Um, the coworker was not in on anything. The other man was the cousin's friend. Mm. This person was not charged. He said that he doesn't really feel guilty about it. <laughs> he no. just kind of felt violated. All right. Okay, well, let's do this. And, and the reason I just wanted to go ahead and do that is because I think it just takes us right into the topic of our conversation today and uh, uh-huh. more home defense stuff. <clears throat> Number one, I would really, really like to know, like, how they got into the house. Because it doesn't tell that. Right. Yeah, and why would the supervisor be able to like enter the home? Like, does he just not lock his doors? What in the world? Lock your doors. Yeah, that that's the first step of home defense. Lock your doors and Uh keep your doors locked. Uh Second step is lock your windows. So there are, and and we're not really. This is not really part of today, but I was just well, I was actually on, and I think I mentioned in another podcast where I was a guest on. Uh, the Life Tech and Sundry podcast. And one of the things that we were talking about there was home defense and smart home, like door locks and things like that. And uh, there are, in in kind of preparing for being on the podcast, uh, I did a lot of reading about and watching about uh, smart door locks. And there are door locks out there that you can get when you shut the door and it has not been opened or closed. In 30 seconds, it will automatically lock. There are definitely people that I know that they could uh, use it. it. I was trying to think of a nice way to say it. Yes. Use it. It is nearly a necessity. Yes. <laughs> because they are really not good at locking their doors. Mm-mm. Kylie knows exactly who I'm talking about. Uh-huh. So anyway. And I love that person. <laughs> I seriously love But like your freaking doors, right? <laughs> No, I mean, seriously, lock your doors. <laughs> yeah, that would be the number one thing. Lock number two, that he did good, you know. He had a gun at that point in time and waiting for them when they came through the door. That's kind of the thing that we're going to be talking about. Probably not in the next or in this one, but in a, the next one that we do, just the three of us anyway. Because I think we have, uh, oh, we have Tim coming on for our next podcast. Oh, great. Seven. Yep. I always enjoy talking to Tim. Tim with uh, Corner Hill Firearms. Let's get on to talking about alarms uh, because door locks was, it sounds like that's kind of mainly the thing this person needed in the news story. Sounds like it. <laughs> Are we going to talk about? I mean, especially wouldn't you want to lock your doors if you knew that your supervisor was probably just going to come strolling through, like even <laughs> if they knocked first. I'm just. I kind of wonder, I kind of wonder if he left his door unlocked because he thought his supervisor was coming by. Maybe. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe. So, are we going to talk about professionally monitored alarms? Yes. However did you know, Kylie? Uh, Because of the paper. Yeah, I know. We're trying to be all organized and stuff. I'm trying to understand a supervisor leaving the workplace (laughs) to come to an employee's home and make sure that they're actually sick and not just shirking work. Yeah. Maybe they have, as a company, have had a lot of people cheat them. I don't know. You don't know everyone's story. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. To quote my mother. So Anyway. (laughs) Kylie's trying to move us right along. So, yes, there are several types of security or home house alarms. One of them is a traditional kind of professionally monitored system. Those generally are the oldest type. You know, that's kind of the original idea of a home alarm is a professional company will come out and install it for you. That can be expensive. Well, it depends. They make it all kinds of different ways. They monitor around the clock, and then if someone trips that alarm, they then call the first responders or the you know police or whatever needs to be called during that moment. So that that is one way of doing it. Thoughts on professionally monitored systems? 
I mean, personally, I don't really care to have a whole lot of people I don't know, even if they do work for a security company near my house. I'm sure that they are absolutely great, you know, and really good for response time and everything and well set up. I just, I'm more of a do-it-myself kind of person. Yeah. DIY. <laughs> yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about that kind of in the the pros and the cons and the this versus that and everything else. But I mean, I'm kind of in the same boat as far as that goes. But you know, a lot of people do, and I think if you have maybe a a large home or maybe a, even a older person, yeah, maybe an that's older person owning the home, yeah. That may not be a bad idea. Yeah, to not have to worry about it yourself. <laughs> yeah. So I think at the end of the day, there's always, there's pluses and minuses to everything, and somebody's going to have to make their own decision, which they won't. But there are, you know, you know, it's not something you have to worry about most of the time. If you get a professionally monitored system, it's not something you have to worry about. You know, like I said, they install it, they monitor it, and then they will contact authorities if need be. Uh, where it's like self-monitored, usually you self-install those. With them, you know, the, the installation process is, is fairly easy. Uh, and then it will send alerts to your smartphone. Now, not all of them do. So some of them say self-monitored, and I can't remember exactly what it was, but I was, uh, I was looking at one of them, and they said, oh, this is a self-monitored system. It's not because it was not self-monitored because all it did was just play an alarm if someone come in it did not send you an alert so it doesn't give you the opportunity yeah. to monitor so it's not really self monitor it's just an alarm that's all it is it needs to be sent to your so in phone. my opinion there are there are very simple systems like that that will do that and that's perfectly fine but let me tell you i'm really big on the idea of it actually self-monitored system if you're going to have a self-monitored system it should send you alerts yeah i tend to agree uh but if the alarm is tripped at that point in time it's going to send you an alert on your phone and then you get to decide hey do i call do i not call do i call someone else For me and my experiences with that we have a self-monitored system okay that is my preference so far well actually we're on our second one the first one did not operate the way i would like it to I did not get alerts like I should have when I know that I should have. But ever since we kind of upgraded to this one, we have an abode system. And with the abode system, you can go to and have a monitored thing if you want. But we've decided to go with self-monitored. I think we were gone. And my father come to the house and went in <laughs> to feed Kylie's fish and forgot the code on the number pad. And it tripped the alarm. And I'm in the mountains so I immediately, because I knew that he had a key, so I immediately texted him. And I said, hey, hey, hey. I said, you, did you happen to go to my house? He goes, yes, I'm sorry. He said, I went in, and I forgot about it, and I forgot to press the key, you know, alarm code. And then it went off. But, you know, that was really quick. I could verify that, make sure that everything was good. If that had been a uh, professionally monitored system, they probably would have sent police out. Yeah. And, you know, that could have been fun. That's why I tend to think, like, self-monitored ones would probably be better for like younger people well I, I, again it just really depends i feel like self-monitored is a little more self-reliant way to look on it you know and i'm kind of i kind of prefer the do stuff myself generally speaking moving along uh looking at pros and cons and this versus that and everything else okay we're going to look at five different things and say which one we think is a little easier or better or whatever uh and first if First off is installation. Professionally monitored systems generally have a professional install it for you. So yeah. that's easier because they are doing it. Yeah, all you do is you say, here are all of my doors and windows. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, then maybe you're, you're the one who puts the sign out. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> that would have to go to the professionally monitored systems. Okay? Yeah, yes, definitely the Some easier installment. Sometimes it can be a little frustrating when you try to install it yourself and you tend to just kind of want to give up installing it yourself if you're not determined. Um, I don't know. Like, it, would it, depend, it would depend it depends, on the system. Yeah. Um, like, rarely, I think, would installing the security system be anywhere near the level of frustration of, like, you know, putting together some sort of Ikea furniture. That, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> I have installed uh, systems. I have also... Uh, put together IKEA furniture, and I can tell you right now which one's a whole. The, the system's a whole, whole lot easier. Affordability. I'd much rather. Affordability. 
Maybe I wasn't done talking well, about sorry. that. No, nah, you're good. Okay. Go ahead. Affordability. A lot of the time you have a lot more freedom to choose um, systems that, well, I mean, in general, self-installed systems are usually going to be a bit cheaper. Yeah. Yes. Um, and, well, and a lot of it's going to go down to you might have more upfront cost in buying the stuff. You're not going to have to pay, pay monthly. The, like, right. You don't have continued payments. It's usually a one-time cost. Yep. We use Abode. It's going to be, especially over the long haul, it is going to be more affordable if you go with uh, a self-monitored system then. So that. So if you're broke like us, self-monitors is probably a good bet. <laughs> Woo! That's, that's another thing. And actually, I will because I, I highly recommend Abode. I will definitely leave a link in the description of this uh, for I mean, that. obviously it works if it tripped on your dad. <laughs> yep. Backups is going to be, that's generally going to go toward the professionally monitored systems because uh, they're able to kind of keep backups. You can have certain backups on uh, self-monitored systems, but, you know, usually those are a lot more expensive. But, like, if something goes down, they usually have an extra way of getting. So for a self-monitored hours abode we can actually have a cell backup so if our power goes or not our power goes out no we're screwed that way <laughs> <laughs> but if uh wi-fi goes down or something like that and the internet goes down uh there is a cell backup that can then use cell the cell signal to send off stuff so you know you can have that kind of backup for that so uh, that could be a toss-up either way but another thing with backups would be like the idea that if something comes through on my phone it is possible that i could miss it let's be honest <laughs> i am not the greatest person in the world at catching all the notifications that come to my phone definitely not if you I can't text say anything me, i'm the same way <laughs> if you text me I may not see that I have been texted until the uh, until the hours later. <laughs> yeah, because I don't always have my phone in my pocket. You know, I, I've got the the Apple Watch to kind of help with that, but program myself apparently really well to to like ignore the. Yeah, Is sometimes there a way to set priorities on your phone from certain things that it will notify you more or louder if it's a certain thing notifying you. I am not a tech wizard. Maybe. It sounds like that should be a thing. Yeah. I would feel like it should be. I don't know. <laughs> but that would be really useful. So if instead of just getting one little notification on your Apple Watch, it's just like going off the hook, <laughs> then you probably... Notification. 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 Yeah, because, you know, you may not be very good about checking your phone, but you're very sensitive to annoyment. And <laughs> <Yeah>. so... <laughs> I get that way when random people call my number. Annoyed? Yeah, because my watch keeps vibrating and I don't know the number, so I just smack my watch. <laughs> so you're just, you know, you're just sitting there and just like, oh, I got a notification. I'll check it later. What in the world? Oh my. What is the problem? Oh, <laughs> someone's in my house. <laughs> yeah. So with any of these, too, you can, you can choose to have cameras in your house or outside of your house or all that kind of stuff. I'm not really big on cameras out inside of your house. I just, mm. I don't know. But the backup being that if you don't notice that there is an alert, that it will go at least to the professionals that won't miss it. Mobility. Yeah, mobility. It is much, much, much easier to pick up and move a self-installed system than it is a professionally installed system. You can take it with you so much easier. So if you rent or anything like that, you're going to like a self-monitored system a lot more, I would imagine. What about people who um, do a lot of traveling in like mobile homes and stuff? So, well, not mobile homes, like RVs and campers and things. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I don't know that there is a professionally professional system for something like that. I could be wrong. I probably am. But I've never heard of one. Uh, so I would say like most of your, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking like what we have, as long as there's internet connection or cell connection, then it should be, I never even thought about having something like that on like a camper or an RV or something. Well, I mean, I know a lot of people uh, who live in campers and mm -hmm. uh, just continually travel back and forth. I know a family of like 12, that does, no, 11. I know a family of 11 that travels in. That is a super close camper. family. <laughs> uh, I think one of their kids has moved out. So really? it might be a family of 10 now. Well, still, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and then connectivity. I think um, 
you know, for the final point there that we're going to make about it anyway, you know, it's going to be, we just talked about, you know, if your Wi-Fi goes down, you're kind of screwed. But then again, also on a professionally monitored system, if it comes in through a line, a lot of people know how to cut those lines. I think that's kind of a toss up, to be honest with you. So I, at the end of the day, I think it basically boils down to what do you want? What, what kind of level of convenience do you want? Do you want to be more responsible for the crap that goes on in your house and your security of your home? Or would you like to pay to have someone else be responsible for that? What you look like you had the look on your face, like you were ready to say I was something. just wondering if some security company has invented um, a system that has uh, multiple routers that are connected into a single unit in a less accessible place so that if one gets cut, the other one is alerted and it would send you a notification if it did that. I That's do not know. a really good idea. It sounds smart. Yeah. I have no idea. Again, I'm not a tech guy. <laughs> Neither. I like I, I'm not a tech person either. And stuff. That was just that was just the thought. I feel like it would make a lot of sense because if people know how to cut the lines and everything, wouldn't it make sense to have multiple uh, units connected into one outlet that uh, notifies you if one gets cut? So I've got this. Uh, speaking of like tech guy, hey, uh, uh, if anybody's interested in a Shark Tank idea, do some looking into that and. <laughs> Um, see what happens. I'm I'm only asking ten um, percent uh, of profits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, I, I think at the end of the day, you just need to make a decision. Do you want to be more responsible for the security and safety of your home, or would you prefer to pay someone else to be? There are a lot of things in in life where you say, "Do I want to be responsible for this, or do I want?" to have a professional be responsible for this. Everybody has to decide that in your life in so many different ways. And it's okay whatever decision you make, just make sure that you make the decision that you're happy with at the end of the day, I think, in most of these cases. So really quick, we need to talk about a, a sponsor that we haven't talked about in a while. How about Atomic Bear? How about Atomic Bear? Atomic Bear has great stuff. They, I have their tactical pin in my purse right now. Yeah, the Rebel. Yes. Oh, so speaking it of... It gets switched to my pocket whenever I'm doing anything. Have you seen the Stealth Pro is out? Oh, no, I haven't seen yes. it. The Stealth Pro is out? Is the that Stealth the one Pro. that you got to like look at beforehand? Yeah, so it is It is lighter weight than the Rebel. There it is. It actually like you know, clicks into place. You have the cap there with a the glass break underneath that. You have a serrated end here. Can you see that? I'm really feeling the distance. I know. <laughs> You have this oh, yeah, serrated in. It's it's still fairly um, discreet, like the Rebel. Yeah. No, I we like, are definitely. Like I'm waiting. Um, there, yeah. There's a nice little gif of it being stabbed into wood. <laughs> you didn't even try very hard. It's just like pop. <laughs> yeah, it's made of ballistic polymer. So I am I am super excited and can't wait to get that thing in hand. Lightweight, really balanced. So we got one on the way. I can't wait to, for it to get here. We are definitely going to do a video on it as soon as it gets here. Kylie's going to steal it. She steals all the cool stuff. She's got the Munio on her keychain. No one else took it. She doesn't it. have the tactical umbrella. You the didn't tactical get... umbrella was awesome. That's right. You stole the tactical umbrella. I haven't yet. <laughs> okay, you're going to steal the tactical umbrella. Actually, I feel like I was given the tactical umbrella. You was. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have gave Kylie the Munio keychain too, uh, but... But you, you know, get to be salty about it because she stole it. Instead. Yeah, she did. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, well, she I mean, I don't like, think you're going to use the flower D like no, I'm not. on your keychain. I'm, I'm not. But it's like, hey, as, soon as, as soon as we designs. finish, there are. Uh, it's as not soon on the one we, we finish, got. Not <laughs> the one that we got, but I'm just saying. As soon as we finished the video, though, I was like, I was looking at where did this thing go? Kelly goes, um, it's on my keys. It was legitimately as soon as we finished the video. It was. Like, like, it, we, we hear a slight jingle in the distance, <laughs> and you're just like, huh. You're sitting there, like, uploading the video to your computer, and you're just like, oh, where did it go? And Kylie's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> on my keychain? <laughs> so, so some of these things we get in, we give away. Some of these things we get in, And we then keep. get stolen by either me or Jada. And then, yeah, and then sometimes it's like, you know, some some of these things just kind of sit around here because it's like, okay, we might can use this in a video again, or we don't know what else to do with it, so we just kind of like hold on to it. And then like some of these things are just loved so much that they are stolen immediately. But anyway, I have a feeling it's probably going to get stolen. No, no, no. I, I think we're going to have a fight I think over it's this interesting stuff. Interesting because we all <laughs> ended up 
usually the things that don't turn into products that we're super like super proud of for self defense, they don't really get stolen very quickly. You know, yeah. like they oh, just like, kind of like the coin yeah. knife. Yeah, <laughs> but we all ended up with one anyway. Like we all had one on our keychains anyway, just because you know it was kind of useful to have a tiny little curved blade knife that doesn't really get in the way of anything there, just and, in case you want to use something and you don't really want to dull your killing knife. Okay, do you still have your your coin knife? Oh, mine fell off my keychain. Yeah, okay. mine fell off mine. <laughs> yeah, no, they're just littered around places. <laughs> okay, because yeah, I had it on the there novelty. For a long time. Yeah, the novelty of it. It was like, oh, that's kind of neat. I can kind of use that to open boxes. I used that to... a lot. Yeah, I used it a lot, but right. But I think that's part of what you know wore down the chain quickly. And yeah, and then it, it fell off. Fell off. And then, did you care enough to put it back on? I, it's Pretty gone. sure that's the first knife I, I actually carried on something. Yes, definitely. I put it back on one time. It fell off one time, and I put it back on. And then uh, the second time it came off, I have no idea where it is. It's probably somewhere in my house in a drawer (laughs) or something that I dropped my keys in randomly because I have a really bad habit of never putting my keys back in the same place. And my (laughs) husband, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Because he has to deal with my panic every morning of, oh, my gosh, where are my keys? Okay, I found my keys. I can leave now. Come back inside. Crap, where's my purse? (laughs) Need my license. (laughs) <laughs> and he's just like you're gonna be late I'm like i know i know anyway sorry for that rant <laughs> yeah you're also ranting like five feet away from the microphone so you're echoing really bad echoing <clears throat> interesting <laughs> how's that that's so much better you <laughs> sound so professional now it sounds normal in my in in my earphones yeah so i don't notice if i slip away I'm telling you, I, so I have been on in the last three weeks. I think I have been on four or five different podcasts. I think part of it's the fact that people are interested right now in self defense. Part of it's the fact that we just hit a hundred episodes. It's just people should know. be interested in self defense. They are, yeah. The guy I was talking to last night says uh, said that you know he was just too cheap to actually go to a class, so he was just kind of using my guesting to give him some to t- hints and tips for when his next trip to New York is. So, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, a little tip for safety in New York: don't go to New York. <laughs> <laughs> New York is <sighs> terrible. Cold. Terrible. It's cold. It's New cold. York is cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've only been there twice, and both times were in the winter time. And as yeah. somebody from North Carolina, to go to New York during the winter time is not, you know, one of those times was negative nineteen. I went degrees. in July. It was lovely in July. I'll say that. Although, whenever you go, is Niagara Falls still technically in New York? Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, okay. it's in New York and Canada, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not it d- it does get so. cold when you're like in between the waterfalls um, on a boat, but that's just because... You should go when it's negative 19 degrees outside. That's really That was fun. Did you go to Niagara Falls? <laughs> yes. It was negative? yes. Why would you do that? That's <laughs> because we go. I don't feel like... I, okay, look, no. it's it's a novelty thing, but you know what? North Carolina has waterfalls, and you don't have to get hypothermia. Right, but it's not <laughs> the Niagara Falls, you know? Uh, we were we were there. We were in Buffalo. It was Buffalo. cool and all. It, like, yeah. in the middle of the horseshoe, it's really cool. We were in Buffalo. We said, well, are we going to go to Niagara Falls? Because, I mean, I don't know if we're going to come back to this area. We, you never know. When you go somewhere, you very rarely know. Am I going to come back here again? I don't know. So I want to go back to the Caribbean. I've never been there. But anyway, we're like going, you know what? I don't care how cold it is. You know what? Let's we go hit it big with impact defense. We are going to do an impact defense cruise. Okay. That's cool. And we just teach on the cruise. Yes. That sounds like a great idea. That sounds cool. Can you imagine self-defense lessons on the deck of a cruise ship? Can you imagine with a 24 seven, all you could eat buffet, how many <laughs> times we will be pulling Kylie out of that? <laughs> we just have to look for the ketchup aisle. Did, did, you, did you hear the excitement when I said 24 7 all you can eat buffet? Hey, that's, in what, that's what my brother did is he hit all the different restaurants over and over and over again. He went to the Windjammer, which was, uh, you know, just an all you can eat buffet for 24 hours. And they just brought out different foods at different times of the day. And it was a five star buffet. It wasn't like, it wasn't a normal buffet like you get here. It's like good chef made food that's in a buffet and then uh he would go there and he would get like the fries and all that stuff and then he would go to the pizza place and he would eat there and then he would go home and he would nap and then he'd wake up and order room service and then he would go and hit the pizza and the buffet again we had water slides 
and like one of those like actual wave pools not like the one where you know a little bit of water laps over every now and then mm-hmm. i'm talking like the water is shooting up so you can ride boogie boards and stuff gotcha and it's just in a constant up so you can learn how to boogie board and uh, do like 360s and there was one for surfing anyway he tried the surfing one once Never tried the boogie boarding one. I think the closest thing he got to being in a pool was sitting in the hot tub. We were on a cruise ship for a week and he (laughs) just ate. Like that was all he did. (laughs) It was just food. (laughs) Where's Elijah? Oh, he's, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't say his name on the podcast. Well, where did he go? It's like, oh, he's probably eating. (laughs) It's true. He was. Yeah. But that, that was all he did. Wait, can Except you imagine that. if we're trying to teach and we look around and go, so where's Kylie? It's like, oh, never mind. I know. We got to go pull her out of the 24-7 now, 24-7 buffet. <laughs> I'm just picturing getting clawed trying to pull her out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't get in like, the way of mean food. Lesson? Okay, y'all watch whatever Kylie does when we try to get her away from this food. <laughs> okay. That was a really long rant. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, we um, <laughs> we were we started off so good, like staying on topic. Yeah. Up, and then like we just <clears throat> went completely and totally off the rails. Yeah, the hopefully idea, people enjoy it. The idea it. of an impact defense cruise sounds fantastic. Yeah. If you guys are enjoying this podcast, go ahead and go over to Apple Podcast, rate us, and write us a review. You can also rate us on a bunch of different podcast platforms. Everywhere. Everywhere. Five stars everywhere. Five stars everywhere. everywhere. And, every minute and, of every day. And write a review. <laughs> that way we can start reading your reviews on the podcast. I miss that. Please write a review. I don't care if you write, that is good, or just something. Just write something, people. No, you don't want to say it, because, you know, somebody could just say it sucks. Oh. You know? Don't say that. That's me. <laughs> All right, guys. So, thank you very much. Hope you learned something about home alarm systems, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the like way off topic <laughs> rant that we got on there at the very end as well so yeah anyway i guess we will see you guys in the next one bye